Assalamu alaikum my dear student of class 3 welcome to all of you in our online classroom as by Samsul Akhan School and College English version I am your science teacher Muhammad Intiaz Ahmed would like to welcome you in our online class and also I would I would like to wish you a happy new year because this is the beginning of the year 2021 and this is the first science class so uh, first of all I would like to congratulate all the students those who have promoted from class 2 to class 3 and also welcoming all the new students those who joined in our school this year from the different kind of schools so before starting this i would like to tell that from this year you are going to read the textbook provided by the board that means in class 1 and 2 you read the private books selected by the school but now from class 3 you are going to read the science book provided by the board and i hope already you have got all your textbook from the you have collected all the textbook from the schools and right now you are opening your science book well here the, this is the uh, cover page of this book and which is known as elementary science class 3 as you can see there are some beautiful pictures in front of this book so i hope you will feel uh, comfortable and you will enjoy to learn the science and before starting this let me give you some summary that what you are going to read in this book there is a table of contents you can see there are totally uh, 12 chapters and in chapter 1 its name is our environment that means in this chapter we will learn about the environment in chapter 2 Uh, name is living and non living things that means uh, if you look around you you can see there are two types of things uh, among us one is living that means those who have the life and one is non living that means th those who do not don't have the life well we will learn detail about this in this chapter in chapter 3 different types of matter if you look around you you will find out that all matters are not similar and we will learn why they are different how their activities and their characteristics from this chapter in chapter 4 its name is water for life that means water is uh, important for all the life all the living things we will learn about detail from this chapter in chapter 5 the name is soil we know we live in the planet earth and the topmost part of this planet earth is known as the soil so we will try to learn detail about soil in this chapter Now in chapter 6 is about the year well you can see that uh, the empty part from uh, the earth to the top we can see there are some winds and variety of air we will learn their function and their activities and their characteristics in this chapter in chapter 7 we will learn about the food and their classification and their uh, importance In chapter 8 we will learn about the hygiene that means the weather condition or the health condition we will learn about detail from this chapter. In chapter 9 we will know about the energy that means how energy can produce and how we can use them in variety of our, uh, variety part of our life. In chapter 10 we will learn about the introduction to technology that means well you know we live in the world of technology right now and we will learn uh, what kind of thing we are using and why they are uh, known as the technology in chapter 11 its name is information and communication you know i have been providing you some kind of information through this communication media that means i'm recording this video and trying to provide you the information about the science and when you and you are getting this information through the communication technology that means internet so we will learn detail about from this chapter in chapter 12 it's about the population and the natural environment that means the people around us and also we will uh, learn something uh, detail about the environment and the last part is the glossary that means some keywords in the book that provided in this book and we will learn detail about them well now i'm going to show you the total marks distribution of this subjects 
in class 1 and 2 you answered 50 marks in science but from class 3 you have to answer hundreds so let me give you the description how you have to answer all those hundred marks first of all you have to answer multiple choice questions which is known as mcq and you have to answer 10 out of 10 and every mark every question consists of one mark so the total is 10 marks in part 2 you have to answer fill in the blanks and you have to answer 10 out of 12 and every single uh, question consists one mark that means in total 10 marks then you have to match between two column we will give you two column and you have to match between them and write the complete sentence and every matching has two marks that means 5 into 2 is equal to 10 marks then you have to answer the short questions and you have to answer 10 short question out of 10 and every short question has two marks that means 2 into 10 is equal to 20 marks then you have to answer the competency based question well let me explain you what is competency based question we are going to give you a question where there will be three different parts and uh, three or uh, two or it can be more but uh, there will be more parts in a question so this will known as the competency based question and you have to answer six out of eight and every question consists five marks so that means five multiply six is equal to 30 marks then you will get 10 marks in class test which is known as CT exam and you will get 10 marks in monthly test which is known as MT exam in total we have 100 marks well this is how we have to answer in the exam I, I would like to let you know because that will uh, make your preparation easy so that whenever you are going to start a new chapter you have to remember that I need to learn the multiple choice question I need to learn the fill in the blanks the matching the short question and also the competency based question but don't worry we will give you some kind of sample question uh, from every chapter and uh, the first um, the most important part is then whenever you are going to read a single chapter you have to underline all the important lines because from that important lines you will get some question from for as a mcq some from the fill in the blanks or matching columns or short questions and also you will uh, get the answer in this line as a competency based questions so i hope you have understood so let's go let's start with our uh, first chapter as you know we are starting with the chapter one the name of this chapter is our environment there are many things around us such as friends trees animals soil water air sunlight and houses all the things surrounding us make our environment well here you can see there is a lot of elements and which is situated around us and all those things are the ingredient of this environment now there is a question arised what surrounds us and if you want to find out the answer we have to do an activity and what we need to do make a table like the one below in your exercise book find things in your classroom and write them in the table let us go out of the classroom with our exercise books find things in the field and write them in the table share your idea with the class well the heading of this table first table uh, box uh, says things in the classroom and the second box says things in the field garden well unfortunately right now you won't be able to fill up things in the classroom because your classroom you are not in the classroom right now well, you can do this kind of demo work in your home. Just assume your uh, study room or your bedroom as a classroom and find out all the components from the environment. That means, let me tell you that if you think that you have a table and a chair in your uh, study room or in your bedroom, there is a big bed. Maybe uh, there is a fan in the ceiling. Also, you have some kind of furnitures around your room. All of them are the components of environment. Then after if you go out of the, your room, that means if you have any garden or field, you can see variety of items around this garden or the field. 
they all they all are also the part of the environment this is how we will find out the ingredients of environment next the summary we are surrounded by various types of things as i said earlier that we are fully surrounded by various kind of things in the classroom there are chairs desk books classmates and teachers there are trees cattle soils water air sunlight in the field all these things unitedly unitedly make our environment that means uh, the component inside your room and the component outside your room all of them are the parts of this environment if you look into the picture you can see that there are a couple of houses there are some trees the people are walking through the road the cattle are grazing the human were trying to cutting their uh, uh, agricultural item and there is a huge river and the boat is on that and the, there is a sun and some birds are flying you can see the flowers are blooming so everything is a part of this environment because every single component is a member of this environment and the next page different types of environment where the question arises that how can we classify the environment if you want to find out the answer we have to do another activity let's see what is the activity well we have to do make a table like the one shown below make a list of two kinds of things in the table by looking at the picture below share your ideas with the class well the first box the heading is things made by the people things not made by the people well in this picture you can see the things made by the people you can see there is a house you can see there is a tube well a bridge and a school so all of them are made by the people and the next things not made by the people is like the sun sun is not made by the, by the people there are some hills there's a big uh, uh, grass field or um, uh, th there is a big field there are some trees there is a river the animals are uh, eating all of them are part of this environment and they are not made by the people so we can see there are two kinds of environment one is man made environment another is uh, natural environment so so what we have learned in today's class in these two pages we have learned what is our environment that means how the environment is created and then we have seen the classification on the environment that means from this part we have learned that the environment is divided into two parts one is man made another is natural so dear student i hope you have understood these two pages and uh, well uh, before leaving this yeah i would like to give you a homework because if you do this homework you will be clear well your task is to find out the answer of the following these two questions one is what is environment you will find out the definition from the textbook then what surrounds us that means if you feel, uh, if you can see around you you can get the answer from for these questions so these two questions answer will be your homework try to write down in your copy and show your parents i hope this will help you to understand this chapter so that's all for today i think you have enjoyed the class and um, remember one thing that you have to stay at home and stay safe and if you have any queries you can feel free to contact as below thank you very much